What's up guys and welcome back to another quick video on uh, looking into more trigger spawns for DCS World's Mission Editor. So last time we went into timed respawns and respawning a, a, another group when the previous group's dead. However this time we're going to do a little bit more um, more of a complex method. Not really complex, it's just a bit different. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is making it so when a unit or group or someone enters a certain zone, more more units will basically spawn in. So first thing we want to do is we want to create a trigger zone. So we've still got that same group of BMPs with a dismount from uh, the last video. However, this time we're just going to leave them there. We're just going to build the rest of it around there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a trigger zone and we're going to place it just here. We're going to make it nice and small. So we'll go for 400. So it covers, uh, maybe that's a bit much. So we'll half that. We'll go for 200 and we'll just call that... Um, just leave it as trigger zone. We'll colour it blue because why the hell not? Okay, so that's going to be our our area. So when when our forces enter that, it's going to create more enemies. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the guy that we want to um, drive into it. So we're going to call it. She would uh, we'll use Russian actually, just for the sake of it. We'll leave it as enemy units. Um, We'll call it walk and we'll have it as a as a group of dismounts we'll have it as a dismount patrol of russians uh russian infantry that i do we just off yeah. on the road a couple of waypoints and we'll just add one waypoint which brings them into the zone at that point they're just going to set off they're going to walk into the zone they're not a late activation so it'll just do things as the mission starts what we're going to do now is we're going to create our new group which will be a vehicle patrol them as armor we'll set them as that's funny that's quite cool Okay, so we go for a T90. So we go for tank troop of T90s. We'll place them on the road as well. We'll set them waypoint. Just drive into the airfield. And we're going to have them ticked as late activation, like much like we did last time. So when these dismounts walk into this zone, we want those tanks to spawn. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into our triggers and we're going to create a new trigger. So this time it's going to be once again and it's going to be, we're going to call it tanks. So the condition is going to be, we, we can do this one of two ways, we can do all of grouping zone, which will be when all of those dismounts enter that zone, they will spawn, however that can be a bit temperamental if half of the group gets killed on the way. So what I tend to use is part of grouping zone. We can go coalition as well, so any red units enter that zone it will spawn them, or any blue units, or what, you know, however we want to set it up, however we can use part of group. I'm going to set the group as walk. And it's going to be the zone they're going to walk into is obviously the one named trigger zone. And then we want to give exactly the same. It will be group activate. We're going to set down as walk one, which should be tanks. But there you go. We'll just change that. Back in. That's now renamed. One and it'll activate tanks. So when our dismounts walk into that zone, the tank should then spawn. So once again, we'll make sure they're ticked as late activation, and they are. And then all we've got to do now is run the mission. Save it, and then we'll watch watch the dismounts walk into the zone. We'll, we'll go into the um, we'll zoom out first. We'll make sure that nowhere along that road are our tanks. As you can see, we can see all the way along the road, there's no tanks. Zoom in, yeah, bring it in, bring it in. No tanks at all. However, if we scroll through these guys... Okay, here's our dismounts now running towards their target location. We're just, uh, we're helping along the way a little bit. It's just up a smidge. And when they reach the end of this road, they'll just enter the trigger zone. And at that point, we should see the tank spawn. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Now, if we scroll through the F7, once we get through all of our dismounts, our tanks have now spawned in. 
and they will just if we speed things up they're going to faff around with their formation because I didn't set it up properly and all they're going to do is they're going to head however their path was set up so they'll start whatever you set up the vehicles to do so if you want them to go and attack a location they'll go attack a location as soon as they're spawned in so you can set it up everything you want them to achieve and just have late activation and as soon as their triggers activated they'll then set off on the target you've, you've made them and that is a really simple way of using trigger zones to um, spawn enemy units so what I tend to do is I, n I normally use this within a mission so um, when my, f my enemy or friendly aircraft take off from whatever airfield I'll get them to reach an IP, I'll set a waypoint which is an IP that will then have a trigger zone attached to that waypoint when they enter that zone enemy forces will then start to spawn in or reinforcements will spawn in to bolster the uh, target location to simulate them picking them up on radar or something like that different ways, it's entirely up to you how you want to use this however it's just a nice little um, way of basically spawning spawning stuff after a set distance as such so when your units reach a certain target or a certain area that's when things start to happen so once again guys really short tutorial hopefully it's just helping you out on the knowledge of the mission editor and uh, hopefully it will get some guys creating some missions so once again guys anything you want to see done put it in the comments and I'll try and make sure it happens all the best stay safe and I'll see you all soon